Hi Tammy, it's Karen. I am Makeupless and I am going to show you, using your palette and all your colors, how to apply the makeup that you're going to get. You may have gotten it already. And if you did, first thing you want to do is set up that palette. So I'm going to show you the order that I would put it in. Obviously all the tins come in a little cover. You just slide the cover off. Each of these little tins are magnetic. So you're going to open up your palette and you're going to put them in this order. I'm going to do amber, that's your main highlight. You're going to do aura, all of your contour, Bella the bronzer, and confetti the illuminator. Then we're going to flip over and you're going to put your nude lip, your La Sanga, and your summer love lip and cheek. They're beautiful. These You're going to love these. And then eyeshadow wise, we have cupcake, we have um, Sedona, Chai, Philly and you complete me. Final thing is your vanilla dust setting powder. Brush wise, you've got four brushes. One is the blush and bronzer brush. One is an eyeshadow. This is gonna be your main brush. We call this the 3D brush or 3ID. And then you have a multitasker brush. The brush cleanser you got is insane. It's amazing. Let me grab mine real quick. So you literally, you could spray a microfiber cloth or a dish towel, whatever, towels, or you could spray the brush directly. And then you just wipe, it cleans the makeup right off. The brush is clean, it's sanitized, and the great thing is it smells good and it's ready to use. <laughs> so you don't have to wait and you don't have to spend an hour cleaning your brushes. So this brush cleaner, is the bomb. I didn't know anything like this existed until I started selling this makeup. I love this makeup. Okay, so let's start. First thing you're gonna do is use that 3D brush. And let's go into our olive contour. You can't mess this makeup up because it's cream. You can always wipe it off, no big deal. But we do wanna get one layer on our skin. First thing first, you do wanna make sure your skin is moisturized. We have an amazing moisturizer that I swear by. It's called Milk. It's not cheap. It's $56 a bottle, but it's amazing. Make sure your skin is moisturized. So this is contour. You go under the cheekbone, come to the center of the eye. Like a Nike swoosh, you push up. You're going to take that same olive. Come up here. We want to go to our hairline. You're going to mix all this in. I'm just showing you very deliberate lines. You're gonna come down here, if you feel like you have jowls, you're gonna come down here, contour under the chin, under here. You have a tiny nose, but you could certainly contour your nose. The closer in the lines are on the nose, the smaller you'll make your nose appear. What you don't wanna do is come down the side, you wanna stay up here on the bridge. Add a little contour here. So that's contouring. You can see immediately that adds definition and def depth to, to the face, and our faces are three-dimensional. Next thing you're gonna do is take the bigger end of that same brush. You're gonna go into your main highlight, amber. Dab, dab, dab. Less is more, you can always build the coverage. Where you didn't put your contour is where you're gonna dab that amber. Start with a little, and if you need more, you'll, you'll know you can add more. Make sure I matched you right. If you feel it doesn't match, give it a couple of seconds to melt into your skin. Okay, so that's amber. I put where there wasn't any contour. Next thing you're going to do is take the same small end. I'm going to wipe my brush off on my cloth. And I'm going to go into my second highlight, which is our brightener, what we call concealer. That's Aura. Just dab into it. Come into the corner of the eye. This is just to brighten up areas that we wanna brighten the middle of our face where we wanna brighten. Now, if you have fine lines here, I do. So I don't wanna put it right under there because it would just crease in those fine lines. I'm gonna use this and distribute it so we get a light line. That way we avoid exasperating fine lines. My eyelids are kind of pigmented with purples and reds. So I take that same R and put it up here just take away that redness. I come down the center with Aura to brighten. Doop. 
I come up here to Brighton, here, and here. So obviously we're gonna blend all this. And then we're gonna tap over to here, or switch over to here. You have these three beautiful lip and cheek. You could blend these or use them one at a time. La Cienga is the rock star to me. So let's take La Cienga, I'm gonna use my finger. You could use a brush. I'm gonna tap above that contour. Remember, these are lips and cheeks, so you could take this and put it on your lips. I'm going to take even Summer Love. We could blend these. You don't have to. We're just playing here. But all these colors, the nude, all so beautiful. So we've applied that. Next thing we're going to do is take that big brush. It has two ends. It has a smaller end. And it has a big fluffy end. Let's take the smaller end and start to blend what we put on. So we want to go from light to dark. You could literally blend it away. So if you make a mistake, you could blend it out. Blend, blend, blend. Up here, we want to make sure we blend the contour up into our hairline. And we make sure we blend our nose. And I'm going to peek over here because I can't see on my phone. I need the mirror. Make sure we blend that eye area. If you want, you could take one of your smaller brushes or even take this brush to blend that. Make sure it's blended in. So then you take a peek. You make everything, make sure everything's blended. So I didn't blend here very well. So I'm gonna blend this, push up. So that's the main foundation, right? If you feel like you've left some areas that you, if you look at your face and you're like, oh my God, I got a pimple up here or where my skin cancer or scar is, I could hide that more by camouflaging it with um, foundation. So that bothers me. I'm going to put a little up there to hide that. So you can go in and do that. Next thing we're going to do is go into our bronzer. This is Bella Bronzer. This is your confetti illuminator. I'm going to take my finger and where the sun would go, just add a little bit of bronzer. The sun would hit you here. Sun would hit you here, here, maybe here and here. And then we're gonna blend that. You'll just see where this warms the face up. I spray tan or self tan, I don't tan my face. So I have to go in and add bronzer to my face because I don't like to be in the sun. So the bronzer warms up your face. Then you're gonna take either your finger or you could take a brush. And you're gonna go into your illuminator confetti. Put it right above your cheekbone just to add some shine. And then let's add some lips. You got a multitasker brush. It's this thin brush. So I would take my olive contour, line my lips. By doing that, you're adding definition to your lips. And then I'm gonna go into, you could use any three of these. Again, you could mix those three lip and cheek. Sorry, it's getting a glare. Let's go into La Cienga. This color is beautiful. And you could mix again. You could play with these. You could put these two or three together. Very natural. So there's your lip and cheek. Finally, if you look at your face and you feel like it's shining, mine is shiny, I would take any of the brushes that are dense and go into my powder and press the powder into where you feel like it's shiny. Okay, let's go into your eyeshadows. These are beautiful. So, I know you feel like you have hooded eyes. Obviously, I do as well. So let's talk about this. We're gonna use Cupcake using the big end of the brush, eyeshadow brush, 
Tap into Cupcake. It's your latest color. You're going to come up here under your eyebrow. Then we're going to go into Chai. Chai is the lighter of the browns. The light, so it's almost like a tan. I'm going to tap, tap, tap. Because you have hooded eyes, you're going to keep your eyes open. Windshield wiper above the crease above the crease, right? The last thing we wanna do is put it in the crease that will pull the eye down. Keep your eye open, look in the mirror, and come above the crease. Very neutral look. You can then go into Sedona, which is the middle brown. Take the small end, tap, 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 very pigmented. Come out here and make a little C or an S kind of shape. Tap, tap, tap. Coming above that crease. Then take your finger into the one that's got the little shimmer. You complete me. And just add to the inside. See how that popped the eye? And then obviously we take the big end and we blend, blend. Oh, same on this side. It's pretty. And then we blend. Don't be afraid of the shimmer because it's gonna pop your beautiful eyes, right? Then you could take the small end of that brush and either go into Sedona or Philly, the two darker browns, tap lightly and you come down here and line the bottom of the eye. get too much you just wipe it away finally this is a piece you don't have to do I couldn't see your eyebrows too well because your bangs were down in that picture but Philly you could take that same small brush you use for your lips it has a little end that we use to line the lips you could go into Philly tap 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 and define your eyebrows make the shape first and then push up. Eyebrows for us are a game changer. They frame the face. We want to make sure. Same thing. Go into Philly. Make the shape. And then come up and make the lines with that little end of the brush. My dear, that is it. The, that is everything in your kit. That is using the four brushes that you got. You can't make mistakes. Um... Just follow what I did. The more you do this, the more easier it will become. I honest to gosh, I do this three minutes in the morning. I do do it in my makeup before I go to the gym because I train people. I don't sweat, unfortunately. Wish I did. But I do train people and I like to look put together if I'm meeting somebody one-on-one. -on -one. So get used, keep practicing, keep practicing. Watch this video. The video will be saved forever. You can just keep going back. And I promise once you get the hang of it, you'll literally just be putting it on really quick and blending it. And then you'll realize it's mistake proof and it's beautiful. If you have any questions, obviously I'm here. That's why I'm here. Um, call me, ask me. We can Zoom. I could meet up with you and come to your house and help you. I want you to be successful with the makeup. I want you to love the makeup as much as I do. Thank you so much. Let me know if you have any questions.